If you try to search for a job for 40 hours a week, you're going to burn out fast. You want to find balance as you search. Even if you're unemployed and you have to go out and you find a part-time job or start, start a side hustle to make ends meet, it's still important to find the balance. Welcome to the Workforce Link Podcast, where we're offering forward-thinking conversations for the workforce, linking employers and job seekers to a brighter tomorrow. I'm your host, Sunday Joe, with the Central Workforce Development Region, and I'm glad to be back with you for another episode today. If you're truly wanting to find a new job or even a new career that you'd like to stay in long-term, sometimes job hunting can be pretty time-consuming. And we often make plenty of mistakes along the way. But hopefully, after listening to today's episode, we can help you avoid some of those job hunting mistakes. You know, there's there's a myth out there, especially for those of us who are unemployed, that you, you must now spend like 40 hours a week looking for a new job. But that is not really a good idea. Because if you're truly spending 40 hours a week looking for a job, you are going to burn yourself out before you even get to the end of the week, okay? And of course, with burnout comes dread, comes panic, all the things, right? It is possible for you to learn how to efficiently search for a job, and we are going to talk about that in today's episode of The Workforce Link. Before we dive into today's episode, though, I would love to ask when this episode is over, if you want to take a break and go do it now, that's great too. If you would head over and give us a review when you are done listening, preferably a five star, and we would love for you to share this podcast with your friends and your coworkers. Remember that sharing is caring. But seriously, the more you share, the more people get to hear about this podcast and the more people that we want to help. All right, now let's dive into today's episode on four ways to job search efficiently. Number one, you want to find the most productive time that works for you. Okay, so if you're still employed and you're looking for a new job, it is important to still make sure that you have a life. But I would also add um, that this isn't just true if you're employed, but if you're unemployed as well. Because of course, if you're unemployed, right, making sure you have a life might look a little different than if you were employed with finances, for example, but that doesn't mean that you can't find a way. So you wanna figure out when your head is gonna be most in the game. Once you figure that out, you wanna stick with that, okay? And I, I recommend blocking off maybe a specific period of time each day and saying, okay, this is when I'm the most focused. This is the best time for me to spend job searching. And it might take you a minute to find your groove, and that's okay too. But once you do, once you find that groove, try to stick with that, okay? So so when will you get the most done? Is it going to be early mornings? Going to be afternoons? Maybe at night when everybody else has gone to bed? Everybody works differently. Everybody functions differently. So again, figure out what works for you and stick with it. And it might take a minute, and that's okay. But the thing that is important is figuring out what works for you. So uh, maybe, for instance, you're a morning person. So maybe you could block off 7 a.m. to 11 to focus solely on your job search efforts. You know, if you're working during the day, maybe you could block off 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. or maybe 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Those are just a few ideas, okay? You, again, go with what works for you. I also recommend taking a 10, 15 break, about every 15 minute break, about every hour, okay? So you wanna get up, you wanna stretch your legs, you wanna get some water, you wanna recalibrate, right? And then you wanna keep going because you don't just wanna sit there and keep, you know, you don't wanna become a robot is what you don't wanna do for sure, okay? So take about a 10, 15 minute break every hour. And again, this is not a rigid rule, but the more you discipline yourself to do it at the same time every day, the more productive that you are going to be. That's with anything. That's not just with job searching. That's with anything. And blocking off those blocks of time has been proven to increase productivity tremendously, okay? And again, that's that's in so many different areas of our lives, not just job searching. But this is going to help you keep a positive mindset when it comes to applying for jobs. And it's going to also help you do the same as you prepare for an interview. Uh, we actually talked about positive mindsets when it comes specifically to interview in a previous episode episode, I think episode number 32. I will uh, double check on that and I will share the link in the show notes for you. So the first thing that you want to do to job search efficiently, find the most productive time that works for you. Number two, you want to do the prep work. 
So it is important for you to do the legwork when job searching. You want to make this part of your daily routine, okay? And the last thing that I recommend doing is applying to just as many jobs as possible for the sake of just applying. Because when you do this, you are just wasting your time. You want to spend some time doing research. Ask yourself what companies you'd like to work for. Sit down and really think about that. Make a list. What companies would you really like to work for? What's the perfect place that you would like to interview? There is nothing wrong with dreaming about this, okay? You want to let yourself think about the possibilities. Then you want to start doing some research into those companies. Get to know their mission statement. I talk about this all the time. Get to know the company's mission statement. Learn about their leadership. You can find information on their website, LinkedIn. Um, there's just you, you can find the information if you really do the searching, okay? And of course, you want to check and see if they have any, any job opportunities available. And if they don't, just because it might not be advertised doesn't mean the opportunity isn't there. There are so many hires that happen today through the power of a networking. And so as you prepare, you also, so you've made this list of companies you want to work for, right? You've made a list of the perfect place that you'd like to interview. You've thought about the possibilities. You've done your research. You also want to make a list of your best skills. So we actually talked about soft skills and hard skills in previous episodes, but you want to make a list of both, okay? But you, you you probably know more about your hard skills than you do your soft skills because sometimes you got to just really sit down and think about that. So focus on your soft skills. What are your top soft skills? What are your top, just maybe even your three? I mean, you can do more, but what are your top three soft skills? And we actually talked about that in episode three. And again, I will share the link in the show notes to that um, if you want to dig in and learn more about understanding your soft skills. But doing this prep work ahead of time, it helps you have a stronger strategy to market yourself to employers. And this is also going to make a big difference in how you put together your resume, how you put together your cover letters. And notice that I said cover letters, plural, because you're not going to use the same copy and paste template for your job search, okay? You're going to individualize your cover letter. That's how you land the job that you want, okay? And I know, again, I'm doing a lot of referring back, but we actually talked about that. We talked about how to write a cover letter worth noticing in episode 10 of the podcast. And again, if you're driving or you're ordering a frappe, I will share the link in the show notes for you, okay? But you want to make sure you get all your preparations done ahead of time and have everything you need together before you get started, okay? This is going to save you a lot of time in the job search process. Not quite sure what career you're wanting to pursue? Well, guess what? That's okay. You don't have to know it all today, and our Central Missouri Job Centers would love to help you find your next career pathway. We can help you with hands-on experience, on-the-job training, or even paid apprenticeships. If you have little or no past work experience, we can help put you in touch with the right employer to give you the training you need. You can learn more about our work-based learning programs at cwdregion.com slash learning. That's cwdregion.com slash learning learning. And don't worry, if you can't write that link down, I will share it in the show notes. Now, back to the show. So number three, you want to add balance to your routine. Okay, so I've said this before, but again, if you try to search for a job for 40 hours a week, you're going to burn out super fast, okay? You want to find balance as you search. And even if you're unemployed and you have to go out and you have to find a part-time job, or maybe you start a side hustle to make ends meet, it is still important for you to find balance balance, okay? There is enough chaos in this world without us creating more for ourselves. So once you figure out what works for you and you've got all the prep work done, decide what that balance looks like for you, okay? You know, maybe you're going to spend three hours a day, three times a week job searching. You can totally handle that, okay? And you'll know going into that, hey, I'm going to spend nine hours, nine hours a week job searching. That is totally doable, And I want to add to this too. When I say job searching, like that doesn't just mean you're hitting the apply button and indeed 75 times and moving forward, okay? Remember that that this process involves researching, creating an appropriate cover letter, and even again, networking, okay? So make sure you find balance, add balance to your routine. Number four, check out our mode job system. So do you have a specific job that you're looking for? Maybe you have a specific set of skills that you want an employer to recognize, and you know those because you already did that in step number two, wrote down your skills, right? Maybe you want to make the the job search easier. Well, that is what our mode job system is for. It's to match you with the perfect employer. You can actually do specific job searches with specific keywords. You can even find hiring events near you, and it is constantly being updated. 
And maybe you even have a specific salary requirement. Well, guess what? MoJobs can help with that. You can just go to jobs.mo.gov. That's jobs.mo.gov. Again, I'll share the link and you can get started. The system, totally free. No tricks because our goal is just to help as many Missourians as possible find their best career pathway. And it's not wrong to go look on Indeed and Munster.com. Does Munster.com still exist? I'm not even sure. I know Indeed is the big one. But what I love about our MoJob system is you have the opportunity to, and you can narrow down things on, on Indeed, but you have the opportunity to really, really narrow down things. So if you are doing Indeed, that's great. But I also recommend going and checking out our MoJob system, okay? So you can uh, narrow it down to exactly what you're looking for. And... If you're in our system, we actually also have the opportunity for employers to be able to do that. They can narrow it down. So if they're looking for the skills that you have and it's a match, boom. It's like eHarmony for job searching, right? All right, so let's do a quick recap on four ways to job search efficiently. Number one, you want to find the time that's most productive for you. Number two, do the prep work before you get started. Number three, make sure you find the balance. And number four, use our MoJobs system. Now remember, you don't want to drown yourself in searching for a job, right? Find the time that works for you. Do the work that will help you find the proper balance and you never know. Job searching might actually just be enjoyable for you. And if you need some assistance with job searching, don't hesitate to reach out to the career counselor closest to you. You can find the job center closest to you at cwdregion.com slash job centers. That's cwdregion.com slash job job centers. We have excited staff that are ready to serve you and that's what we exist for, right? To help you match to the perfect employer, to help you with your training needs, all the things. So don't hesitate to reach out, okay? All right, that's it for today's episode. Have a great week, my friend, and we will meet again in the next episode. Until then, remember this, there's always a brighter tomorrow if you're willing to find it. The Central Region Workforce Development Board Incorporated and COPIC are equal opportunity employers and programs. Auxiliary aids and services are available upon request to individuals with disabilities. Missouri Relay Services at 711.